Jesus is coming sooner than we and you think. Jesus is coming any minute now. He can come any minute. And the rapture of the church is in a minute. What I wanted to talk about today is I wanted to talk about how close we are. And the spiritual warfare is just out of out of off the charts and off the walls that the devil is out there trying to de de deceive and devour anybody that he can because he knows that his time is coming and his time is short and and we know that we are saved because we have been born again and we believe in Jesus and we repent of our sins and we will be ready when he comes and Jesus said, I want to give you a heads up what the rapture is first of all. The rapture of the church or the rapture is whenever Jesus comes back, not onto earth, but in the clouds, and catches his bride up. In other words, the bride is the church and the Christians. His true Christians, true believers, catch them up into the air to meet them. So this is what it says, First Thessalonians 4, verse 16 through 18. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with the shout, with the voice of the archangel and the trump of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then which we are alive remain shall be caught up together to meet them in the air, and thus meet in the air. Thus we shall ever be of the Lord. Therefore, comfort one another with these words. Jesus doesn't want us to go like, Jesus doesn't just want us to go out there and say, oh, you're going to hell because you cast, or oh, you're going to hell because you did this and you murdered someone. Jesus wants us to say, hey, I want to tell you about Jesus. And then plant seeds. Jesus wants us to plant seeds into people. And that's what we are supposed to do. Bully share the gospel of grace and of Jesus and plant seeds in people. Now, I tell you, there are so many people being deceived right now by the devil. So many spirits that are deceiving people. God said to test spirits to see if they're from God. But there are so many people right now that are being deceived. Like, so many people. All they have to do is simply turn to Jesus and he'll open their eyes. They'll open their eyes to the things that they are blind. You people, I'm talking to unbelievers here. You guys can say whatever you want to. You can say, because there's a thing that unbelievers say, oh, I'll just wait till another day. And no, one day is going to be too late. Today is the day of salvation. Turn to Jesus. He loves you. John 3, 16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. And it goes on to verse 17. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world would be saved through him. Jesus didn't just create us to have fun and then die or just be lost. He created us that we would have a great relationship with him and that we would have eternal life with him. And to receive eternal life with Jesus, you have to you have to turn to Jesus. You have to give your life to Jesus. It's that simple, but people think it's so hard. It's that simple. All you have to do is say, God, I'm sorry. Hey, you're a sinner, because we all sin. Believe that Jesus down the cross reasons and rose again on the third day. And repent of your sins and you'll be saved. In other words, just say, God, I'm sorry. I know I've been living my life wrong. Please forgive me. Come into my life in Jesus' name. And he will come into your life. And the Holy Spirit will come into your life. And he will guide you to right. He will guide you to the right path instead of the wrong path. He, will, he won't even guide you to evil. He'll guide you to good. He'll guide you to Jesus. And Jesus is standing there. I'm sure he is very angry at people sinning he's angry at their sin but he deeply loves you so much he deeply loves you that he does not want to say to you i never knew you he wants you to turn to him before it's too late and the rapture can happen any minute 
He wants, he wants you to turn to him. He wants, that's why people, so many people are out here right now prophesying about their dreams and rapture dreams and end time dreams. Because Jesus said that he will pour his spirit upon all flesh and they shall prophesy. And your young men shall have visions and your and young men shall have dreams. I also want to talk about the end time, end time signs we are in right now. Wars and rumors of wars. Pest, increase in pestilences. There's also, um, do not, let's see, I'm trying to remember how it went. For many will come in my name and will deceive many. And it also says, if you hear a seer that saying Jesus is in the desert, don't go out there because many false prophets and what, and science will arise, something like that. And also, Jesus said, Behold, I come quickly. And Jesus is coming back to make all things new. To make you new. Are you a born again believer? Did you give your life to Jesus? Don't keep waiting. Do it today. Do it right now. Today is your day of salvation. Because Jesus loves you. I'm not doing this to force my religion on you. I'm doing this to save through for you to receive God's salvation, that he may open your eyes to what is to come on this earth. And it's not beautiful what's coming on this earth right now. The seven-year tribulation. Whenever people, after the rapture, the Antichrist will rise up, and he will deceive many, and there will be something called the mark of the beast. And it says you cannot buy or sell anything, and this number is six, six, six. This is the devil's number. And it says you cannot buy or sell anything, Without the, without the mark on your right hand or in your forehead. And it says whoever takes the mark is doomed for hell. You mean there's no coming back. You're going to hell. Unless you're like babies. And your parents force you to take the mark. Then yeah you'll still make it to heaven. I'm pretty sure. But anyways I just want to hop on here guys. And tell you. Think about it. If you died today. Where would you go? If if you weren't ready for the Lord to come, would you be left behind? If you never gave your life to Jesus, where would you be? These are your questions you should remember and keep deep in your heart. Or have I been saved? Or have I given my life to Jesus? Or what am I doing wrong in my life that I need to do right? God bless you. Have a great day. Jesus loves you and he is coming very, very soon.